Hi everyone, my name is Monica and today I'm going to do a basic demonstration on how to fix a puncture on a tube. But before I begin, I would like to show you how to prepare for a puncture. One is when you're out on your bike and two is when you're at home. A good option is when you're out and about is a small puncture repair bag with all the essentials. This makes it a lot easier and quicker to change a puncture when you're out and about. And this bag can consist of a spare inner tube, a small pump, two big levers to take your tire from the rim, a 15 millimeter spanner to take the wheel from your bike. Also consistent is a quick repair kit consisting of a crane, a small sander and a self-adhesive patch. This is a good option if you have a second puncher. Now I'm going to show you how they just all fit in the bag. Small compact bag just fits everything all in. And nice and compact. Now I'm going to show you how to apply the self adhesive patch onto your tube. Just making sure all the existing air is out of your tube. Then mark the area where the puncture is. Then just sand around the punctured area, just roughen it up. This makes it a lot easier for the self adhesive patch to stick. Wipe away any excess. Then peeling away the paper from the patch. So applying your patch over the punctured area. So just hold them down firmly and give it a time to stick. The second thing I'm going to show you is a puncture repair box at home. This allows a lot more time to repair your puncture when you're at home. And this box consists of a dry clean cloth, a wrench to take your wheel off, pliers to take anything sharp from your tire, maybe it be a nail or glass, a marker to mark where your puncture is and last but not least is your repair kit which consists of two bike levers, a small sander, different size patches, glue, a grater and chalk and not forgetting your T-bar pump. Now I'm going to show you how to repair a puncture when you're at home. Before I do that, I'm going to show you the different types of punctures that you can come across on your tube. One is a small hole, which can be caused by either glass or something sharp. The second is snake bite, which can be caused, mainly happens on mountain bikes if you're going over rocks or potholes. The third one is a blowout, which can be caused by a tear in your tire or the tire not on properly. So 
so once you have located your puncher make sure all the existing air is out of your tire then using the marker just to indicate where your puncher is then using your sander to roughen up around where the puncher is and that helps the glue and the patch to stick a lot easier just wipe away any excess then apply a small amount of glue just around where the puncher is making sure to make it wider than what your patch is just allowing that then to feel a bit tacky before you put your patch on give it a few minutes maybe and then decide on what size of a patch I'm going to use the larger one and then peeling away the back of the patch just checking that it feels a bit tacky before you apply your patch otherwise it shouldn't it wouldn't work hold on firmly on the patch just rub it around the edges to secure it onto the chip giving that a few minutes then after a few minutes if it's sealed around the edge you can peel the plastic off making sure that all the edges are attached to the tube so just press down any edges that are not firmly down at this stage if you feel that there's any edges curling up you can apply more glue and just rub it around the edges and that will secure any edges that are curling up this stage is a good idea to make sure that there's no air escaping from your tube pump then listen and feel for any air another good option at this stage to make sure would be to put some water into your basin then submerge the chip into the basin and just look out for air bubbles at this stage and this will tell whether there's any air escaping. Then just dry off any existing water. 
this stage, if it's still feeling a bit tacky, what you can do is get your chalk and your grater. And sand or grate the chalk over the patch and just rub it in gently. So this will dry up any parts that are feeling tacky. And that is how to repair a puncture. Thank you for joining and I hope you find this video helpful. Bye!